Hello, I'm Little Brick from Pixelate Pickaxe, and today I'm going to show you how to make Minecraft tools in Blender. We are going to be recreating the sword shape today. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to add color. Uh, but first, we want to open up Blender, and we're just going to use the default cube. We want to tab into edit mode, hit A to deselect all the vertices, and we want to make sure that this thing right down here is turned off because that limits our selection to those vertices that we can see. So the vertices behind, uh, which would be just pretty much this one, we would not be able to select. So now we can select them all that we have turned this off. So now I'm going to hit C to bring up this gizmo, click and drag to select the vertices, escape to turn off the tool, hit X to delete the vertices, and we want to make sure it's not faces or edges or vertices. And now we're just left with these four vertices right here. So now we are going to go into orthographic view with five on the number pad, or the row of number keys along the top if you're emulating a number pad on the laptop, and then seven. And if you're following along in Blender, you may notice that the square is two blender units wide and on or long on each side and we want to make that so it's one blender unit and actually undo and select all the vertices with a first and then subdivide and we just want one cut so now each square now that we have four each square is one blender unit square and this will be helpful in a minute when we're recreating each pixel on the di on the diamond sword shape or the sword shape. So we're going to hit N to bring up this menu to the right. We're going to go down to the bottom of the menu and select background images and we're going to open that menu, add image, hit this arrow right here and open. We're going to go to desktop and we're going to open the sword image and there you can see it, we've got it on the background. And I want to resize it so it's about the same size as the pixels we've got here. So I'm going to zoom in, and I think it was about 8.4 I had. There we go, that's awesome. So now basically what we're doing is we're just extruding, we're just recreating more squares on top of these squares. So we're going to do that, we're going to select, we're going to hit B on the keyboard, we're going to click and drag and select these top three vertices right here. We're going to hit E to extrude, and now we've got another three vertices right here, and we're going to hold down control. And because I'm zoomed in, it's, it's snapping in much smaller increments, but we want it about there. there. Oh, uh-oh. It extruded on its own again, so. Um, if something silly like that happens again, it's probably my tablet, because my tablet has a terrible habit of double-clicking, or even triple-clicking, or quadruple-clicking. So, we're going to zoom out just a little bit, so we're snapping in larger increments, and I'm going to select these vertices along here now. E to extrude, and now we're just snapping along one pixel, or one blender unit. So now we're just going to keep on doing that, I'm hitting shift middle mouse button, so A to deselect vertices, B, click and drag, E, hold down control so it snaps to the grid, and then A, then B, click and drag, E to extrude, holding down control. Okay, and we're just going to keep on repeating this until we have the shape of the sword recreated. And it doesn't have to cover the image exactly, we just want the basic shape of the sword. So there's the blade pretty much done, and we're going to shift the mouse button down here. And we're going to recreate the hilt. So I'm going to make sure that none of the vertices up there are selected, so we hit A. 
and we know no vertices are selected because if the vertices up there weren't selected, we would have selected all the vertices. I probably just blew your mind there or something um, with confusion, but just hang with me. B, we're in B already, so we're going to click and drag each extrude, holding down control, and then A to deselect. So B, click and drag, E to extrude, holding down control to snap, and A to deselect. And we're just going to keep on doing that again. these down here. Oh, and you'll see I extruded some vertices up here, so we need to undo, so command Z, and then we need to hit A to make sure no vertices are selected, and now we can select these vertices and extrude them. So remember, it's a to deselect vertices, B, click and drag, E to extrude, control to snap to the grid, and then A to deselect vertices again. And my tablet is not cooperating again. B, E to extrude, oop, E to extrude, E, and we're almost done. and undo, because my tablet derped up again. But there we go, we've got the whole sword shape. Now all that's left to do is make it three-dimensional, and I'm going to do a little extra thing at the end with this orange dot right here, which is the rotation point for the whole shape. But first, we need to make the sword 3D. So we're going to do that by going into side view with either one on the number pad, or three on the number pad, it doesn't matter. Select all the vertices by hitting A twice, or just once if you don't have already uh, don't already have vertices selected. E to extrude, and we're going to go down one blender unit on the grid. And there we go. We've got a full 3D sword. Pretty nifty, huh? Now, my last point is not really important if you just want to model a sword, but if you plan on animating with it later, it might help to relocate the origin, or this orange dot right here, because right now it's rotating right there, and we kind of want it to rotate around the hilt, or where the center of gravity is. So we will do that by going back into edit mode with tab, going back to top view, and we're going to select these vertices down here with B, click and drag, and then you'll see this thing right here, I want it to be right there. So I'm going to do that by shift S at the same time, and cursor to selected. And you see it moves from there to there. And now we tab out of edit mode, and you'll see this pops up again, origin, so we're going to click that, and we want to select Origin to 3D Cursor. And now you'll notice that this orange dot that was here is now here. And now we can rotate the sword around that point. And there we go. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to group the vertices or the faces into different colors. But for now... I will say goodbye.